Lucy Kaminsky of Zagula Publishing and Apologetics Academy presents a prayer entitled Yahweh Our Healer, taken from the book An Arsenal of Powerful Prayers, subtitled Scriptural Prayers to Move Mountains and written by Jeannie Metcalf. Before I read this prayer, let's take a moment and talk to God. Father, we at Segula Publishing and Apologetics Academy believe your word. We know that you desire to touch lives to help people know that you are alive and real. There is no better way, Father, than to send your word and heal those listening to this podcast. With that in mind, our team at CP and AA join their faith with mine as I pray this prayer for the online audience. Dear listener, please know these scriptures in this prayer comes from Hebrews 4, 16, Jeremiah 29, 11, 1 John 3, 8b, Luke 1, 45, Mark 2, 3 to 12, John 10, 10, 1 Peter 2, 24, Genesis 18, 14, Acts 26, 8. Together we look to you, Yahweh Rafika, to touch our listening audience. Abba Father, we hallow your name, Yahweh Rafika. This name, translated as the Lord who heals, shows us just one amazing aspect of your divine nature, and that is your desire to heal us. To ensure we fully understand this part of your character, when Yeshua HaMashiach walked upon this earth, he repeatedly showed us, through numerous events recorded in the scriptures, where your healing power manifested, meeting specific and various needs. Even in desperate situations, nothing prevented the touch of Yahuwah from manifesting. Scripture makes it truly clear that you are Yahuwah who heals us, and when in need, we should come to you. Today, Lord, we come before your throne of grace for help in time of need in the life of this dear one listening. As we look at their life, Abba, and then align their present situation with the word of God, which shows us your desires for them, we know that you have a far greater plan for this precious person than what presently transpires in their life. Believing your compassion and love reaches out to all who ask, we thank you, Lord, that your healing hand is stretched towards this dear one today. Since you are Yahweh Shema, the Lord who is there, we thank you that right now, this very moment, you are with the one listening to this podcast, standing right by their side. The power of the Holy Spirit streams towards them like an overflowing water stream with more than enough resources to accomplish what is needed at this time. In accordance with your word, we believe that today you begin the application of your far greater plan for this dear one's life. Your presence in their situation turns things right around. Yeshua told us when he was upon the earth that the thief comes to steal, to kill, and destroy. But he came that we might have life and have it more abundantly. It is this wonderful abundant life flowing into every part of their life that this dear one needs. We recognize that the works of Hasutan has stolen life from them in innumerable ways in their body, mind, soul, and or spirit. Those destructive works you neither ordained nor approved. However, your love and mercy go so deep that you are willing to change the circumstances in this precious person's life, relieving them from this present situation, helping them in all ways, including healing their pain, whether physical, mental, emotional, or spiritual, nothing is too hard for you. We remember what the Bible says about destructive works in the lives of mankind. First, it says those kinds of works are not from Yahweh. They come from Hasatan, the adversary, the evil one. Furthermore, it says, for this purpose, the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of Hasatan. This purpose Yeshua totally fulfilled at the cross of Calvary, including every work that Hasatan performed in this listener's life. Abba, as we pray for our dear online friend, we think about the paralyzed man alive in the time of Yeshua. His caring friends put him on a stretcher 
and carried him to where Yeshua was speaking. When they arrived, Yeshua was inside a house, and due to the crowds around that place, they could not get their friend anywhere near Yeshua. So great was their faith and their determination to see their friend healed that they decided to go up to the flat roof of the house and dismantle the roof tiles. Then they lowered their friend on the stretcher in clear view of Yeshua. When Yeshua saw their faith, Yeshua looked at the man on the stretcher and said, Your sins are forgiven. Those righteous leaders in the crowds that day objected to Yeshua's forgiveness of sins. Yeshua addressed their indignant protests. He asked them, Which was easier to say, You are forgiven of your sins, or to say, Arise and take up thy bed and walk? As he continued his discourse in this regard, he spoke about his power on earth to forgive sins. Then, speaking to the paralytic, he said, Arise, take up your bed, and go your way into your own house. Thus the paralytic man was made perfectly whole. Yeshua came to forgive sins, and through the scriptures we know, at that same time, Yeshua made it possible for mankind's total healing of all diseases, neither forgiveness of sins, nor healing the body, nor even raising the dead, is hard for Yahovah. His power fully overcomes the results of all sins and all diseases, no matter the degree in which they manifest in a life. We believe that this dear listener was included in the work of Yeshua on the cross. So Abba, by way of our prayers today, we lift before you the entire physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual well-being of this precious soul. We know your response to our prayers for their healing is the same today as it was in the time of Yeshua. He sent his word and healed them. Your word is the final word, forever settled in heaven. It is unchangeable. We see the situation not with our natural eyes, assessing the physical evidence in front of us. Rather, we see things with the eye of faith. We confess that in accordance with the principle in Romans 4:17. We call those things which are not as though they are already done, for in your reality, Lord, it is done. We thank you, Abba, that we who have believed you to intervene and act in this situation to bring forth your power and might against the works of Hasutan will see a performance of those things which the Bible has decreed as done. Therefore, we take the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, who is Yeshua, and declare over this precious person's life as it is written, For this purpose was the Son of God manifest, that he might destroy the works of Hasatan. Abba, today we thank you that now, by the power of the Holy Spirit, who is fully able to manifest what Yeshua did on the cross, everything our online friend needs at this time comes to pass. Today, in Yeshua's name, and through the deutimous power of the Holy Spirit, we thank you that in the life of this dear one, all works of the adversary are finished and undone. We agree with the word of God as it says, By his stripes this listener was healed. And as you said it, so it stands. Your words of power, life, and healing now go directly to touch their life. Abba, thank you now for this dear one's healing. We understand, Father, that you may choose to do a miracle with an immediate response or a progressive healing, which takes time to completely manifest. Nevertheless, we thank you that this dear online listener begins to amend from this very hour. No matter how you choose to manifest their healing, we know that your power has never diminished and your ability to bring your word to pass is not limited to time, circumstances, or distance. We thank you, Abba, by faith, this dear one's life receives all that is needed by the hand of the living God, who loved them enough to send Yeshua to die in their place, forgive all their sins, and heal all their diseases. On this ground, we now stand firmly convinced that the manifestation of your power comes into this situation. With your divine help and the impartation of the Holy Spirit, we agree with your word that it is done, and we continue to stand firm in that agreement. 
We praise and we thank you now in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, our Lord and Savior. To Yahweh be all the glory. Amen. After hearing the wonderful promises of healing in the Word of God, we trust your life will never again be the same. And remember, if you wish to pray this prayer for yourself or others, you can obtain a copy at segulapublishing.ca. You are looking for An Arsenal of Powerful Prayers by Jeannie Metcalf. ISBN number 9781926489247. You also find these prayers available on Amazon and other online suppliers on the internet. God bless you and keep you.